Jungle Island with our buddy Tiki Boss. This is the former site of the Tiki's. And so I'm gonna show you a couple of things here so that you get an idea of what it's like today. It's a paintball park now. It's crazy to think that at one time there was a Polynesian paradise here. And this is what it looks like today. People getting their air re replaced on their paint guns. Sound of paintball guns shooting up the road. Right. There's an airplane fuselage there. And you can see a few of the forms here. These are some of the things that people hide behind when they are playing paintball. And there are the palm trees that were part of the tiki's. This is an entrance now to one of the paintball playgrounds. As you can see the forms through the This is Danny Ball's old apartment. He lived upstairs here. It's an abandoned building now. But let's see if we can find any traces of Tiki, of when it was part of the Tiki's. Danny Ball's lived up here. And if you look at the, the fascia here, there are still traces of tapa painted on there. Can you see that? You see the little flowers right up there? You still see some of it here. If you look up here, look up at the fascia up there. There's still floral patterns. Not sure if you can see that. Last time I was here was probably more than five years ago, and it's really overgrown since then. We were able to see some of the old volcanic forms underneath all of this brush, and my buddy Steve Huffman climbed up on some of them. He even climbed up into this apartment. If you look at the fascia and the borders around the doors, you'll still see that floral pattern. If you look to the bottom right of the screen, you can still see one of the volcanic forms that was part of the Polynesian landscape. Danny Balls lived in this apartment after he and his wife got divorced. And because of their financial situation, they both lived on the property. Of course, she lived on the other side because they couldn't stand each other. <laughs> he cheated on her with one of his dancers. So wouldn't it be cool if like, not that you could actually travel through time, but if there was like a pair of glasses that you could put on. That would be so cool. To like any year. And you could just look and see what that area that you were in used to look like at, during that particular time. Can you imagine if something such existed that'd be incredible like you couldn't you couldn't touch it you couldn't be there but you could at least see you could just see it exactly what it would that look would like. that would change urban archaeology oh yeah take it I to mean, a whole new level uh, that'd be unbelievable you just need an address <laughs> like go back and see what used to be there because that's what, in my head right now that's what i'm wishing for i'm looking at all this and i wish i could just i don't even need to be there i don't even need to touch it i just wish you just want to see it i just want to see it just for even if it's just for a flash even if it's that, just for yeah. a second just in all its glory like day one